What's going on everybody? I'm Jory Goodman, the Time Teller. So guys, I know it's kind of rare that I'm filming an episode on a Friday night, but let's be clear, I have nothing better to do. <laughs> I'm kidding. I've made a discovery, okay? It is going to blow your mind. This is revolutionary. Christopher Columbus would be mind blown. A little bit of an overstatement, but you're probably going to still be kind of excited about this. I went to go change my strap on one of my watches, and uh, I discovered something that's kind of unique. I think a lot of you may not even know this exists. I don't know if I'd call it a feature or a design or what, but it's kind of weird and wonky and cool, and uh, I figured it'd be valuable to share with you guys as watch enthusiasts. So uh, yeah, why don't we get into it? It is 9.40 p.m. Let's get down to business. I've had way too much coffee, if you couldn't tell. All right, so this is my Frederic Constant Moon Timer. A lot of you guys already know about this watch in my collection. Very, very impressive piece. Uh, I absolutely love it. You know, it's quite dressy, but it's also really rugged. Uh, you're getting that 100 meter water resistance rating with that threaded crown. Uh, but today we're gonna focus on the strap, okay? So I've had this watch in my collection for a few years now, and uh, this is the factory leather strap. It's known as Croco Calf. It is fake crocodile leather um, and to be honest it actually looks quite good in person and it's very very supple and it's an incredibly comfortable watch and the strap you know is is comfortable as well this is leaps and bounds ahead of you know what Seiko releases with their watches this is a lot better than uh, the factory strap that you'll find on your presage unfortunately but you know it's not just Seiko uh, most companies factory straps are, are just incredibly stiff and uh, uncomfortable but um, yeah, Frederic Constant did a good job with this strap, but we're gonna make it even better because as I said earlier, this watch has been, been in my collection for a while and I think it's just time to kind of spruce it up a bit, breathe some new life into this watch. So, okay, as you can see here, Croco Calf. Um, now, I made this video or I wanted to make this video for two reasons. Number one, to show off you know, the really cool strap and just how much a strap can change a watch's look, but also because this watch, this Frederic Constant Moon Timer, has a really, really unique setup, a really unique feature when it comes to their strap. And some of you astute viewers will already see what I'm talking about. Can you notice what's kind of unique on this watch? I'll give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Well, you'll notice here, I'll get you uh, a little bit better in focus here. Uh, you'll see one cutout for a spring bar, but then if you look closer, there's another cutout. Okay, so there is, or there are, I should say, four spring bars on this watch. Um, you don't see that all too often, but um, I suspect this watch is very, very comfortable on the wrist because of this double spring bar setup, okay? Um, th these two spring bars, two on each side, it really fixes uh, the strap deep into the lug right up against the case and it really flattens out the strap up there making the watch lay really really flat against your wrist and again it just makes it for a very very comfortable watch to wear and uh, yeah also it's kind of an added security feature because you don't have to worry about a spring bar failure because there's one, two, three, four spring bars. So the likelihood of, you know, two spring bars failing on one side, um, it's just, it's not gonna happen. So really cool setup, really unique setup, but um, I think we can make this watch look even cooler with a new strap. Okay, so whenever I talk about watch straps, people always ask me, why don't you talk about Kolareb? Why don't you talk about Kolareb? Well, fine guys, I'm talking about Kolareb. Now, I have no affiliation with the brand. Uh, I have a few of the watch straps that they offer and I like them, I like them. I like Hadley Roma, I like Crown and Buckle, and yeah, I like Kolareb. And uh, I don't know the exact specification, but really cool packaging from Colareb, by the way. Uh, I don't know the exact specification of this strap, um, but it is their distressed brown leather. And uh, I know, I know, the Moon Timer is kind of a dress watch, but it's also a really tough, durable watch. And I think, um, I mean, I could be wrong, but I think this is gonna look really cool on my Moon Timer, and we're gonna switch it up a bit. So. I really like black dial watches with brown leather, um, and this isn't totally brown, it's 
kind of got some some grays in there and uh, either way I think it's gonna look super duper cool um, so some cool packaging uh, this is I guess who I bought it from Holbensfinewatches.com. I ordered this Kohler rep strap off of Amazon, so I guess this is the seller. So, um, I mean, I don't know much about these guys, although they did ship out this Kohler rep strap very, very quickly. So, uh, thank you guys. Here's some free advertising for you. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and um, we're gonna throw this strap, this Kohler rep strap on my Frederick Constant Moon Timer. Let's do it. All right, so we have the factory strap off of this Moon Timer and you can see uh, this lug is indeed made for two spring bars. How cool is that? Not too common. And here's the factory strap uh, with two spring bars just chilling in here. Now, I think I should note, you know, we can't take advantage of the dual spring bar setup with the Kohler Reb strap because of course the strap is made to be used on a bunch of different watches and uh, they're not gonna put two holes in it um, just on the off chance that your watch has a dual spring bar setup. Now, I know Frederic Constant will sell you other straps on their site, other factory Frederic Constant labeled straps. However, I don't know if all of their watches utilize a dual spring bar setup. So here's what I want you to do, guys. If anyone in the comment section of this video right now has a Frederic Constant, let me know. Does your watch also have a dual spring bar setup? Um, that would be interesting to find out. Uh, but yeah, so if you have a Frederic Constant and you want to keep it factory, um, Frederic Constant does sell, um, you know, other straps. But um, for me, I'm fine going aftermarket and I know Kolareb makes some awesome some straps so we're gonna go ahead and throw this on this and see how it looks all right check that out the new Kola Reb distressed brown leather strap on my Frederic Constant moon timer again guys they have a special designation for this strap but uh, I don't know it off the top of my head I'm gonna leave a link to this ex exact strap excuse me in the link uh, in the description below so you can click on it it'll take you to Amazon uh, where I purchased this strap and uh, you can read the fancy schmancy name but for now we're just gonna say the 22 millimeter distressed brown leather strap from Kola Reb and uh, so far I'm really digging it but again let me know what you think now guys here's what I'll say usually uh, changing watch straps is pretty easy for me I've been doing it for a while and again anybody can really figure it out and uh, it, it's it's never too tricky um, but this because there are two detents uh, for the dual spring bar setup it kind of made it a bit tricky um, because the spring bar will slide into one of the detents and then sometimes it would go in diagonal and then you got you got to really pay attention you got to really pay attention a lot more than you would normally um, now I chose to put the strap um, up close to the case uh, so I chose the innermost detent on both sides because again that's that's kind of how um, the factory strap that's kind of where the factory strap was located deep into the lugs there and uh, I, I just love that look it looks really cool guys um, kind of get a rough tough look uh, and it contrasts with the kind of clean dial uh, and the refinement of the watch and um, yeah definitely playing off the rugged ruggedness of this watch um, but it's still you know a, a fancy piece I don't know I think it looks really cool but again guys leave me a comment let me know what you think uh, again link to this strap will be in the description below I don't know if I'll be able to find a link to this watch but I'll leave that in the description below if I can find one as well I'm currently wearing my Oris Big Crown Pro Pilot. I'll leave a link to this watch and this Hadley Roma Cordura strap in the description below. But the most important link that I want you guys to click on is the link to the giveaway. Okay, I'm giving away two watches. I'm gonna be picking the winners two of the giveaway at the end of September, okay guys? So um, I don't want you guys to miss out. So please click the link in the description below, enter that giveaway, and uh, yeah, it should be a good time. So guys, thank you so much for joining me on this kind of short little Friday episode. I did a rant on Tuesday, so I figured I'd make another piece of watch content on Friday for you guys. And uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, share this with other watch enthusiasts, other people that you think would enjoy this. I'm Jory Goodman, the time teller, and always remember, I didn't invent time.
I just tell it. Just kidding, episode is not over yet. I forgot to uh, put the watch on my wrist and let you know what I think. I was too busy yapping about, but yeah, really comfortable strap. Um, I think it looks great on the watch. Let me know what you think. You know, this is really typical for Kolareb. Um, I think they make really high quality watch straps and this is still kind of affordable. You know, Hadley Roma, uh, Kolareb, their watch straps are on average around $40, um, but then you get really expensive companies like Crown & Buckle's Black Label straps. Uh, they're sometimes in the $80, so twice as much as this. Um, and then you get, you know, some in the multiple of hundreds of dollars, but um, I typically stick around the $40 mark. You know, you want a good watch strap that's not gonna fail on you, especially if you're wearing a watch you actually care about. So um, yeah, I say Kolareb, Hadley Roma, even Crown & Buckle, I would recommend those three companies for sure. I don't have any relationship with any of them, but uh, yeah, I think this is a really good example of a very nice Cola Reb watch strap. But let me know what you think, guys. Um, again, super impressed. Love this look. I'll upload some pictures to Instagram at The Simple Consultant. You can follow me there. And uh, yeah, love you guys. Have a very safe, fun weekend. And uh, yeah, enjoy yourselves. All right, the episode is over right now.